Hello guys and welcome back to the same workshop. My name is Ola Sikomi. If this is your first time here, you are absolutely welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Today, I'll be showing you guys how to cut and sew with that shiki. I'm going to show you how to do everything, including the lacing, the pocket side, everything step by step as always. But in case if you have a style that you want me to make a video about, you're going to join our weekly classes if you are interested. It is 1,000 Naira per week and all we do there is that we are all the members are going to post a picture of a style that they want me to make a video about and we are going to put one of each of these pictures up for every week so I'll be making a video, a detailed video about it and I'll be sharing it. It's just a private class, all these videos will not be coming to the public here on YouTube so if you are interested just click on the link below, I'll put a link to the WhatsApp group and a link to the uh, Telegram group as well. So that's about it. Um, so without further ado, let's get straight into the video. And if you like this video so far, give it a thumb up. And if you are yet to subscribe to the channel, there's one red button right down there. All right, just hit the subscribe button. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So let's get straight into the video. Bye. Okay. So getting started, as you can see, here is my measurement. I'll be showing you that on the screen. I'll be putting that on the screen. And I already fold the fabric according to my measurement, which is 14 for the sleeve length. That's from the middle of your chest to your, um, from the middle of your back to your sleeve length that you, your preferred sleeve length. So I already chalked the wrong side, as you can see. My length is 33, but I'll be subtracting two out of the 33 because I'll be piping it, the down part of the dash key, I'll be piping it with two inches. So here I'll have the, that's 33 minus 2 inches, which will give me a total of 31, right? So I'll be adding an extra half of an inch for the joining allowance. So I have the length of 31.5. So I already marked that. And I'm going to mark that at the other side also. So I want you guys to pay attention to this. So after marking it, I'm going to cut it out just mark your length it's a very very simple style that you guys can actually get it's as simple as a b and c so i'm just going to cut it out Just going to cut it out so the one i'm cutting right now is the front as you can see i did not cut the tip of the fabric so this is the front as you can see so the next thing i'll be cutting now will be the back so as always on the back i'll be adding an extra four inches to that so just fold this fold it according to your sleeve measurements according to your sleeve measurement so i already fold them together as you can see so the length, so you see that we have 14, our same, our same length measurement, as you can see. So our length measurement previously is 31 and a half, right? So I'll be adding an extra four inches to that. And I will be marking it. That's for my length. So I'm just going to cut it out. This is for the back. You can see that. I'm going to cut this part out. So as always, the back is going to be longer than the front so that we can do our shoulder overlap. You guys can see that. So this is what we have for the back.
So the next thing we are going to do is we are going to place our front on it. We are going to place our front and we are going to cut out the shoulder slant. Shoulder slant, yes. We are going to cut out the shoulder slant. But because we are making a dashiki outfit, the shoulder is not supposed to be too slant because we want the sleeve to be hanging. So you have to pay attention to that. On this one, if you're cutting the normal senator, you will be deepening your shoulder maybe by minimum of three inches or four inches maximum. But on this one, I'll be standing the shoulder by just two inches. You can see that. So I already marked my two inches and I'm going to I'm going to make a line, then I'm going to cut it out. So now just move your fabric to the back a little bit so that the overlap can be up. You can see that it's almost the same as when you're making a senator outfit, just that you're not going to slant the shoulder too much. As you can see that, so the next thing you're going to do is to cut our neck. That's the only thing we need in this video, in this part. You're not going to cut your sleeve. So I already shocked my neck. If you want to know how to cut a neck, I already made several videos on that, which is on the channel. Just search for how to cut a neck. Or I'll put the link in the description below. So I just marked the neck and I cut it out. So you can see what we have so far. So your shoulder, you're not going to cut an armhole on this one. It's just going to be straight like that. So the next thing we're going to cut is going to be our facing our back yoke very simple just make sure you're getting the wrong and the right side of the fabric so I'm just going to cut a very straight and simple back yoke you can see that see that just cut it like that you can see this is what we have so for the back here, the next thing you're just going to do is just to fold the edge. If you use facing, you can add your facing, but mostly I've not been using facing for a while now. And I'm going to tell you guys the reason why maybe in another video. So I'm just going to fold the edge of the facing with an emi gum. And at this one, I'm going to cut out the pipe, but I don't like cutting out the pipe during the cutting. I like to cut out the pipe when I am doing the sewing. I'm going to cut out the pipe when I'm sewing. So the next thing I'm going to do here is the facing of the front. Because as you can see in the previous picture, that video that I showed you in the beginning of the video, the introduction, the neck is going to be, uh, have a lace, like a shoe lace in the front. So I will have to do a turnover on the neck and an opening. So here, my neck is going to have uh, a depth of 10 inches so just place it under your neckline and just cut your neck shape out you can see that you can see that so the next thing i'm just going to shape the facing And I'm going to cut out my neck slit. The slit in front of the neck. So I'm going to cut it out. Just make a straight, a straight cut in the front. But I want it to be a depth of 7 inches. 
We need to have a depth of 7 inches. So I'm still going to cut half of an inch in the front. I'm just going to mark it so that I can get the exact part that I need to cut. You can see that. And I'm going to cut the same thing on the facing. You can see. So after cutting this out, the next thing we're going to do, the very first thing we're going to do is to weave the facing. We're going to weave the facing and we are going to do a turnover. Okay. Here is the neck that we slit before, as you can see. So I'm going to do a turn up. I'm going to turn the neck. If you're making a cylinder that you're not piping, this is exactly how to turn your neck also. So I'm going to turn the neck. Let me zoom in closer so that you guys can see. Okay. Okay, this is better. This is a good view. Okay. So I'll make sure the front, the right side of the facing is facing the right side of the fabric before sewing it. So I'm going to sew it. Just make sure that your hand is straight when you're doing this. Just make sure your hand is straight. And in case you want to join our intensive class, all we do in our intensive class is very simple. We decide on a particular design that we'll be making in a week. And I make the video for you, maybe a senator design. You vote on maybe like uh, uh, five pictures every week. Then we all vote about a video in which we want to learn about on our WhatsApp group. So if you're interested, I'll put a link in the description below so that you guys can join. You can also come up with a design that you want me to show you guys. So all you just have to do is just to post the picture on the group and we all deliberate on what I should do. And we and I make a video about it. So that is it on the intensive. It's not really an intensive class, but it's just 1,000 Naira each every week for every design that I'll be making. So that is it on this. So here, I'm going to make a notch at that edge so that I can turn the neck over, as you can see. So I'm just going to make a notch, make it closer. And on that cuff side, all of the cuff side, you have to make a notch so you can have a good turn. You can see that. Just make a notch right there make a notch you can see so the next thing i'll be doing i will turn it and i will have to use an iron to make it very straight and balanced you can see so i'll need to use the ironing now to balance it up so this is what we have you see how smooth that is so i had some gum inside of that edges so that it's going to balance very well you can see so the back also i'm going to like have to turn that back also so just the same way so as you can see i did not add anything to my face and i did not add any stiff i only use i only fold the edge with an emmy gum it's as simple as that so as you can see the next thing i'll be doing now is just to turn the neck just like that So if you're making a senator, a normal senator that you don't want to pipe the neck, this is exactly the same process you're going to follow to pipe the neck, to turn the neck.
ok So just, just make a stitch just like that around. Very simple. Just make sure that you're under straight and you're not sewing some parts big and some other parts small. Make sure you're stitching exactly the same size, which is a foot of your machine. Okay, so the next thing I'll be doing now is ironing this part also. Okay, first you're going to make a notch. Anything that you sew that has a curved edge, you're going to make a notch there before turning it over. So after making the notch, I will take my time to give it a good ironing. So I already give it an ironing right there. So I already give it an ironing. So the next thing we're going to do now is where I want you guys to pay attention to, I will have to turn my my front shoulder line and my back shoulder line. I will have to put the two together. So here, I just want you to take a closer look at this. Okay. So here, I'll make sure my, you can see what I did. You can see that the back, the front of my fabric is facing the machine, which is the front of the fabric, and my back is facing it. So I'm going to put the shoulder inside, the shoulder of the front, I'm going to put it inside of the back. You can see what I did. So you're going to put it at that edge. You can see that. Okay, so I'm going to stitch that part now i'll be stitching the like half of an inch at the edge make sure that place is straight and balanced including your facing you can see see that so what I'll be doing at this corner right here I'll be cutting out that edge I'll have to trim out that edge but first let me turn it so that let me do the second one you're going to do exactly the same thing on the second line also put it right here inside make sure they are very close so that you're going to, you're not going to have any lapses in between those inside. Make sure they're very close. So it's very straight stitch. I'm sewing half of an inch right here. As always, I told you guys when doing the cutting there, we're going to add an extra half of an inch there. So here I'm going to cut sew out half of an inch. You see that? So when I turn this over to the front. Just jack that place out, jack it very out so that it's going to be very firm. And you're going to do the same thing to the second side. See what we have. So 
So this is what the neck is going to look like. As simple as that. See? But that edges, as you can see, it has a little bit of thickness. So that's why you need to trim that part. You see that edge? Let's trim it close. Trim it. Trim it off. You can see? So you're going to jack it out so that it's going to key in and it's going to be straight. Also add this one. We have to trim it. See that? So this is what the front is going to look like. You see? So the next thing we're going to do is to iron your shoulder first. Make sure it is very, very straight. That is very important. Then after you iron it, as you can see, make sure the two, both the inside and the front are very balanced. Then you can stitch your back to your, you can stitch your yoke to your back. <laughs> oh God, English is crazy. <laughs> You're going to stitch your yoke to your back. Make sure your hand is very straight because you have to stitch the edge, the very edge of the fabric. Just like that. You can see. Just like that. Just like that. You can see what we have. So after stitching the yoke, all you have to do is just to give it a good ironing. So this is what the front look like. It's very, very simple. This is what the dashiki look like. As you can see, it's very simple. <laughs> you can see that. So we're going to make our punch in the front. But before we do that, that will be that will still be in the front before we do that i'm going to fold this together so i'm going to cut cut out my sleeve pipe that's why i call it the sleeve pipe all these edges you're going to give it a good ironing you can see you're going to make sure you iron it and it's balanced so here for the sleeve pipe i'll be measuring nine inches nine inches So I'm going to make a notch at that 9 inches length. <laughs> you see? So I'm going to cut out a pipe for that. And that's what we're going to use to, to turn it. So after, after stitching the pipe, then we can stitch the borders and we can run our pipe. So here is the pipe that I cut. I already cut out four inches. You can see that the width is four inches. After folding, I'm going to have a total of 1.5 at the edge. You can see, and the length is 20 because I want to have an extra two inches for the, after the stitching. So here I already folded this, this is what it's going to look like. You guys see that? This is what it's going to look like. So 1.5 the total, you can see. So I'm going to like have to attach it to the borders. As you can see, this what that side is going to look like. Just like this, you're going to attach it to the borders. You can see. Just, you're going to like, you're piping your neck, something like that. And you're going to do it on the both sides. 
So after that, we're going to stitch the border itself. So here, I'm, I just opened the shoulder into two places, you can see, so I can start the pipe. So from that edges, I'm going to go a little bit front into the front because I have an extra allowance, as I've told you guys before. can see so I'm going to make a straight stitch just like that just like that I'm going to make sure it's go out a little bit so it's not covering the entire entire sleeve So all you, have, all you have to do is just to draw it closer and make your stitch. Just like that. You can see what I'm doing. Very simple. can see you can see So this is the sleeve. This is what it's gonna look like. All the folding, don't worry. You're going to use a steam iron to give it a thorough ironing and it's going to be smooth. So that is it. So on the other side also, you're going to do exactly the same thing. So here, this is what we have on the sleeve. So I make a double stitch on each of the side. You can see that. I make a double stitch. So now I'm going to be, okay, here is my nine inches for the sleeve arm O, for the sleeve O, not arm O. So I'm going to just stitch it, curve. I'm going to make a curve stitch at that edge. So from the inside, you can see. I'm going to measure my your nine inches. You're going to make a curve from that side down to your to your length. So you can see this what that side is going to look like. So the next thing I'm going to do is just to weave that edges. You can see from the sleeve, I make a curve stitch down. That's from my nine inches down to my bodice. And I did it on both sides. So if I turn it to the front now, this is what the dashiki is going to look like. I'm here to give this an ironing. So I'm going to give it an ironing. And you're going to see. So here, as you can see, this is what it's going to look like. This is what the front is going to look like. It's still going to take your time to give this a good ironing. All these edges then we're going to after that's when we're going to do our punch in the front okay so here what i'll be showing you guys to be at this end part uh this down part this way we're going to take our measurements we're going to take it long that will be 24 i'm going to assume that will be 24 that's 24 times 2 a total of 48 so i'll be cutting a straight long line of 48 that i'll be using for the piping which will be a total of two inches extra to this part so here i already cut a 4.5 inches length you can see so after i pulled each of the edges 
I'm going to have the pipe just like this. You guys can see so I can stitch it straight to the fabric. So I'm going to add a light fusing to this. I'm going to add some fusing to it so that it's going to make it a little bit strong. So right now I already had some fusing to this. You can see that. So I cut 4.5 so that I'm going to be sewing half of an inch at that edge. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold this into two. And I'm going to iron it to make sure it's straight before we stitch it to our body. So you can see, I already pulled the edges. You can see this is in double. So now, when I turn this into two like this, this is what I'm going to do. At this edge right here, I'm going to make sure this side is straight. You can see. Make sure you're actually taking this out. Enough. See what we have? Make sure the side is straight. Make sure the side also is straight. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to chop this place. So that's what, okay, you cannot see that, sorry. Okay, so at this side, I just chop this place. So that's what I will be stitching inside together. So I'm going to take this to the sewing machine now. I'm going to turn this facing each other like this. You can see that and I'm going to stitch. Let me calculate how many inches that is. I'm going to stitch one uh, three quarter of an inch in that place. So right here, as you can see, I already joined it together. Use your iron to open this place up. Open this place up with ironing and fold it together like this. So the next thing we're going to do now is just to apply it to our bow eyes. That's the end part. So here, the next thing we're going to do is on this side, we start a stitch just like this. You can see, from this very first angle, we're going to start a stitch. That I'll be sewing half of an inch from that edge in that corner. So here this is what it's going to look like, the down part you can see, this is what the down part is going to look like to this side. So I'm going to need to like weave these edges. So the next thing we're going to do is our pocket on the side. So after the weave, these are the places you're going to take your time to give it good ironing. You can see all these edges, you're going to iron it very well. So after the weave from inside, this is what we're going to have. So the next thing we are going to do now is going to be the side pocket. We are going to need to like put a side pocket here, a welt pocket at this edge and also at the second side before we do the last finishing which will be on the, the neck lacing. So here is the pocket, the welt pocket I will be using. So I already cut this out at the welt itself, the mouth of the pocket is going to be a total of 6 inches. So I cut 8 inches for an extra allowance. So here. The length is going to be a total of 10 and the length is going to end up at a total of 9 inches after the folding of the pocket side. So here is the fusing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add fusing to both sides and I'm going to add fusing to the back of the uh, bodice itself. So right here, there is one of the pockets. I'll fold it into two. And I'm going to mark the center point. Okay, so here is the center point for the world's pocket. So here, the pocket is going to be a total of 6 inches, right? Don't forget. So here I'm marking 6 here. I'm marking the beginning here. So 
right here. I'm going to put out the center points in this one also. You see that? To my head. And to my head. You see? So I'm going to do the same thing on this one for the center point. I'm going to mark the side. See that? See that? So I'm going to do the same thing here. So that will be the top part. So the next thing I'm going to do is from make a mistake. So let me just do it this way. So from the inside, right? I want you guys to pay attention. From the inside, I'm going to measure my 17 inches. So from the shoulder here, I'm going to measure my length, which is 17, right? I'm going to mark my 17 right here. Also at this place, we need to do the same thing. We're going to mark your 17 inches from this place. Make a 17 right here. Make sure it is accurate. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to add facing to this place, to this particular 17 inches. So here I'm just going to place my facing. I'll be cutting the facing at a total of nine inches. Uh a total of eight inches as well, sorry. 8 inches so I'll be cutting two facing I'm still going to like have to like trim it but either way let's just cut this one so I'll be placing my facing here right at this edge put it together get the center point place it make sure that place is smooth then you're going to iron it down so as you can see, after you glue your PM, your your, uh, your stay to this side, so when you come to the front, so here is where our pocket is going to be. You're still going to tear out the facing, but that will be after we're done with the fixing of the pocket. So let's do that right now. So let's go back to the sewing machine so we can fix our pocket right here. Make sure it's very straight and fix two of that. So the pocket is going to be uh, like at uh, half of an inch. The entire pocket is going to be like at half of an inch. You can measure that by making just like uh, half of an inch. That will be each of it is going to be a quarter of an inch on each side. So let's do that first. A quarter of an inch to give us half of an inch total quarter. And here also we have a quarter of an inch. So we are going to roll it together. So you see what we have? So when we're stitching this now, we're going to stitch a total of half of an inch for the pocket opening. So we are going to do the same thing here and all of it. So right now I'm going to fix my watch pocket at the side. You guys can see. So I'm just going to make sure the inside is opened. So then stitch on the wall. In the borders. If your hand is straight and you understand what you're doing, you might just do it like this. But if you feel like your hand is not straight, you can make a straight line at this place before stitching. That's what I would advise. So make sure your center point is actually at the center point of your stitch right here. You can see that. So I'm going to I'm going to start my stitch from this very first edge right here. Okay. You can see that. Okay, so this is what we have. Our stitch has ended here. You see that? And this one also ended right there. You see that? So I'm going to um, attach the second one under it, just exactly at this place. 
see that I'm going to do the same exact same thing. Make sure that your hand is straight. Okay, so, so, this one we have here, this one we have here. So, as you can see, this is what we have so far. So, I'm going to cut this part out. I'm going to easily, you can see, I'm going to make my cut here. See that? Let me make this a little bit okay. So you see that? I'm going to make my button. So at this point, I have to make a notch at this part on this edge right here. You see that? Just once, like open another space or so. See that? We are going to do the same thing also at this place. See that? See here? See? Also here? So the next thing we are going to do now is to put it inside. So we have to like still go back to the ironing table. So you're just going to iron these edges. You can see that. So the next thing you're going to do now is to push all this inside. Push it inside. I'm going to push this one also inside. Inside of your borders. So we do so far. So when you come to the inside right here, you can see what we have. You can see what we have. So I'm going to like iron it. So see that just make sure you iron it and you make sure it is balanced then we can overlay our pocket we can overlay what we want to use for the facing so if you look at it like this it's going to look something like this as you can see the edges are still not very smooth but that's not that's not a worry what you just have to do is just to push this inside Push this inside you can see that so during the stitching aspect you're going to stitch from inside right here so all these edges are going to be firm and we're going to do an embroidery at these edges all of these edges so that's going to be firm so let's go back to the sewing machine again try <laughs> and fix all of that up so push this downward just a little bit you see that make sure this side overlap you see so let's go to the sewing machine and fix that up. So as you can see right here, the next thing we're going to do is very simple. Make sure you use your hand to balance up this place very well. You see that? So when you lift this part up, make sure this fabric is out. This particular small one. We are going to stitch it to the border. So at that tip, let me zoom in closer so that you guys can see. Okay, at that tip, 
going to make a straight stitch. You can see after you stitch that part, you see that we're going to also do this other side. We're going to also do this other side. We're going to do the same thing, but in your front, make sure this side is set. We're going to make sure this side is very, very set. This one has to overlap, and this one overlap. This one has to overlap here. You see that? That's really an expression. Make sure it's overlap. Just like that. Hold it down tightly. You see that? So we're going to stitch this place also. Just like that. So you can see after you stitch that part also, here is what we're going to have in the front. So all we have to do is just to make a stitch right here from this part to this part. Then I'm going to crease the pocket from inside. I'm just going to crease the pocket. Depending on how you want it to be, I'm just going to make a top edge at this place. You can see that. So I'm going to just weave it round, just weave it round. So that is it on the walt pocket side. Don't worry. We have to like tear out all this paper, this ones. I'm going to tear out this like here. So here, this is what the pocket is going to look like. It's very simple. Very simple. You can see that. Just give it a good ironing. And I'm going to stitch this part with a, an embroidery here straight down to this place. So, as you can see, here is what the pocket is going to look like. We are going to, still going to do an embroidery on each of these edges. So, it's going to cover those lapses. That's what they usually use. If you check on your trouser now, you're going to see an embroidery at each of the edges. Or if you have a zigzag machine, can just use to stitch that part so here is what we're going to use on the side of this it's going to come from the inside i'm just going to do it a total ironing so it's going to come from the inside like this we're going to stitch it to the bodice right there it's going to come to the front and hold your body oh sorry you cannot see that clearly it's going to come from inside here to this place and hold your button it's very simple so right here is what the pockets look like now you can see that it's very very simple so the next thing we are going to do is the punch is the punch on the neckline so we do that so the next thing we're going to do now is now the punch on the neckline so let's do that so here the next thing we're going to do is very simple i'm going to make a notch for each of the hole so starting from here, you can see that I'm going to give it a gap of, uh, let me see, one inches because I want it to be firm. This place also, one inches, one inch here, one inch from here to here, one inch from here to here, one inch. Here to here, one inch. So here I'll be using one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rings on each of the side. So here also I'm going to start my okay. I'm going to measure this place, which is so from here. I'm going to start from here. You can measure the gap between here and seven quarter. So from here, you can see that. Let me zoom in closer so that you guys can see this clearly. I'm sorry. I want you guys to see this clearly. Okay, so from here also, I'm 
thicken one inch, one inch here, one inch here, one inch here, one inch here, one inch and here, one inch. You can see that. So here, that will be seven plus seven uh, ring. I'll be using. 14 ring at each of the sides. Putting in one ring here, one ring here. 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 Okay, so here is the total ring we are going to use. I believe you guys can see that. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to make a punch at each of this mark that I make right now. So I'm going to punch it. If you have a nail, you can use a nail. But as for me, I don't have a puncher. There's a puncher matching, I will still need to get that. But on this one, I will just be using a nail to just punch each of those edges so that I'll be able to put the ring, then press it. So as you can see here, what I'll be doing here is very simple on each of those marks that I make. If you have a scissors right here, I'll, I'm just going to make a notch at this edge right here, just a tiny one, just like that, you see? Then I'm going to put the ring inside. Don't worry about the ruffle, the ring is going to cover it. You see that? That's what that first one is going to be like. So you're going to do exactly the same thing on all, all of these edges. What you just have to do is just to make a notch right there. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, that's enough. Then you can easily insert your ring. Spray it inside. So we're going to use our puncher on it. Okay, so after you already punch this piece, you can see that this is what the inside will look like. That's not a problem, including this one. So you can see, it just fell out. That's not a problem. Let's push it back inside. So the next thing we are going to do is to use our... This is it. Um, this is exactly what you're going to need to use. If you want to buy this, you can actually send me a message on my Instagram. I can help you get it and forward it to you if that is if you're interested. So here, what you're going to do is, there's two pieces on this thing. There's one piece right here, and there's another piece right here. But this one is the one with the, um, the opening. So here at the back, this one with the opening, you can see that. You see that this one has no opening, and this one has an opening. Has a little bit of uh, tip around here, okay? That's the tip is going to go inside here, while this edge is going to be here. You seeing that? Okay, so all you just have to do is just to Rest it down. Fact. See what we have from the back? It's already like hold all the fabric together, and this is what we have in the front. So you're going to do the same thing right here. Let's push this. Make sure this goes inside. This is outside. You see, just press it. That's what we have. You see that? So, we are going to do the same thing on all of the O's right here. We're going to do the same thing on all of the O's and we're going to give it a good ironing. Then we can pack. So, here is what the punch will look like. All you just have to do is just to give it a good ironing and cut out all this thread from here. Let's give it a smooth, smooth, smooth edge. And the next thing you're just going to do is to pass your lace in the front. 
so that's about it on this dashiki so we have I'm just going to add your um let me zoom back on a little bit so you guys can see what it looks like i'm going to add your button on this one i'm using a black button so i'm going to show you the finishing aspect so you see the other side you see the front i'm going to give you the tutorial ironing this is the sleeve uh, I, I believe you have noticed something during this place at this part i'm going to have to like stitch this and cover up this side that's a mistake everybody kind of like make exactly like everybody actually make mistake nobody's perfect so if you're having a mistake or issue with your work it's possible it happens it's life life is not perfect <laughs> so that is it on this one i'll be putting the lace and i'll be showing you guys the final product so that is it on how to make a dashiki as simple as possible but this one is kind of like complicated if you don't want to make this you can leave it like that without this it goes well so that is it on this video if you like this video so far give it a thumb up and if you're yet to subscribe to this channel also make sure you hit on the subscribe button and if you want to join the intensive class it is uh i put a link to the whatsapp group below it's very simple all we just do is just every week we make a tutorial particularly about a style that all of us decide to do so i'll make a tutorial about it so you guys can actually learn from it that is it and i will see you guys in the class or on my next video peace and enjoy yourself.